All right. So now we're going to the second segment. Uh, I'm going to ammo up here. Oh, chopper just outside my reach. In, uh, like, I, you still had to buy, we didn't refresh all your ammo and stuff at the beginning of levels in this one. That's right. Uh, like we do in, in later games. Because uh, I think we were still sort of hanging on to the idea that buying ammo was gameplay. Yeah, I mean, the game continually got more and more user-friendly. Oh. As the uh, as the series progressed, we got more and more user friendly, and we started just ditching a lot of things that we thought were uh, good ideas, but really just turned out to be annoyances. And uh, you, as as it evolved, we just started to realize more and more that you know this isn't really necessary, strictly speaking. Yeah, yeah. Playing, uh, you know, going going to the vendor and buying ammo isn't gameplay. It's it's uh, work, you know. And we tried to remove the amount of work as much as possible. And you can see sort of baby steps for that coming into this game. Oh, oh, I missed it. Oh, you did. The Megacorp employee getting pulled into the water. There's a couple of those. A little we'll, bit we'll more personality. More. Yeah. I remember when those went in. Those made me happy. Look at that platform. Yes. A, a, a Peter Hastings special, right? Feeling alive. I remember he came in like post-beta and put in the, the, right. the, 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 pla the physics platforms. It's all about making the world feel alive now. Well, yeah, I think, uh, uh, you know, this was when Havoc got real big. It was around this time. And we uh, uh, we were just sort of trying to keep up with the Joneses. That's right. You let him die. Yeah, he would have died anyway. That's so mean, Mike. I'm a mean guy, Tony. I don't know if you know that about me. I think you're just leaving crates behind. I'm just saying, if you want that chopper, you got to break those crates. I'm looking already, out for you. I already have enough for the chopper. I don't want you to be able to buy your weapon. <laughs> Lily pads. Oh, shit. Oh, oh you just got yourself into a heap of trouble. Oh, no, it's good. This is a good level. It's a pretty good level. I'm liking yeah. this. Whoa. Fortunately, that was not death liquid. That was sink liquid. Not to be confused. <laughs> Did you see the guy get pulled away? Yeah. I oh man, torturing Megacorp employees was so much fun in this level. There's also a, a like a secret area where you get the the box breaker in this level. Is but it you, this level? Yeah, but you can't come back. You can't get it until you uh, until you have Clank and the uh, gravity boots. Got it. Which you have to wait for. We're almost to the mini boss fight. That's right. First the, big boss fight in this uh, in this game. And you actually get to uh, you fight the whole boss in that secret area, where you get the uh, right. box breaker. And this is all coming back to me now. Mm. Slowly, slowly remembering what's going on in this game. I think I had to play this game a lot more than you did because, uh, like post beta, we were just playing through the game, writing up issues. Like we didn't, right? Since, because that in, Insomniac is a real programmer-heavy house. Uh, the programmers, you know, uh, the designers at the time that uh, we were there, they, they didn't do any scripting. We just set stuff up, and the programmers actually coded in all the logic and the the AI and stuff. So you guys had a lot more usually to do than we did, uh, especially towards the end of the project, where we, you know we couldn't fix a problem by uh, moving it, you know, two meters to the left. Right. Not to you know. Oh. oh! Oh! You got just crushed. I'm just captivated. I don't. I have no words. I'm just so enthralled by what's going on right now. <laughs> nice. Oh, effects. upgrade. That. Did you do that? Uh, I, I always believe... suspect you of, of, of double intentions, but no, I don't know who uh, who did that one. Uh, I have my suspicions, but I don't want to credit the wrong person and make somebody mad. Oh. So instead, I'm going to make them both mad it seems... by not crediting anybody. <laughs> it was either let, let me see if I can guess the two people you're thinking. Okay, that way you don't have to be wrong. Okay, it was either uh, Eric Christensen or uh, Roberto, right? Because uh, Eric Christensen actually, I, did a ton of effects. He did. Uh, Keith Lee also. Uh, was Keith on this project? I don't know. It could have been anybody. It could have been any <laughs> human being. 
There's the whole. I don't even remember if my buddy was on this game. Anybody who's not me could have done that effect. Oh, the dynamo. That's right. Oh, the worst gadget in the history of get. And I think this one was my fucking idea too. Uh, and I think I designed a number of these dynamo puzzles. Good save. God good save. damn. What? I hate this thing. I probably did it though. So nobody else takes the button. <laughs> that was a good save. So basically, what this is, is it's a thing that lets you press buttons. Oh my god. Are you excited? I am. That was great. The, uh, uh, this, was, this was a personal favorite effect of mine when I was doing programming. This, uh, you know, color it and then change the, you know, flicker the alpha right. yeah, yeah, for, yeah. The, for the hologram was. was uh, Oddly enough, particularly easy to do. Yeah. Like in just a couple of a couple of lines of code, you could have something like that. Thank you for choosing This is sort of a. This I like to think this level inspired Glados with the, uh, <laughs> the, the uh, you know the voices in the background sort of demoralizing you. Right, let's see if I can do this without it being too embarrassing. Uh, I think, by the way, those platforms coded by Mr. Tim Trespass. Were they? Yeah. Well done. M look, look, looking, uh, uh, I, I remember he put that effect on him. I was like, dude, that was pretty spiffy. Oh, I like that. I like that bridge. I like that bridge a lot, too. Don't remember who coded that one. Probably Peter, because Peter makes bridges Possibly. look amazing. That was a good-looking bridge. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. Man, this looks, this looks like a room where a lot of things would break, Mike. And sure enough, oh, oh fuck. you just upgraded something. The now, mini nuke. The, I know this effect. Wait, was, already uh, we're at the mini nuke. Yeah, there's only two levels. Oh, remember? okay. So this is way before we had multiple upgrades on a on a weapon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, 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 I know that effect was that done was by Eric. Christensen. Yeah. That was most certainly Eric. Great, great effect. I remember when I first saw that effect. Yeah, I was blown yeah. away. That and was I, like, and I, I remember when he told me how he did it, it was like finding out that Santa Claus wasn't real or, <laughs> or, or figuring out a magic trick where it's just like, it, he's like, well, I, I got two ovals and then scaled them up and voila. And, I, think he, I think it was more complicated. Well, no, it that. was, but that's how he told me. Right, right, right. right. I, so I was just like, you know, that was be between him. What was the, uh, what was, like, because Eric would stay really late and just start to go a little crazy. Yeah. Uh, what was what was the quote that he always loved? Yeah, uh, well, I don't I don't even think he said remember? so many things. Electric something. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I, the first time I saw that effect, I was like, ah, oh, I can't believe that we're doing something that looks like that <laughs> on the PlayStation Two. On the, well, the PlayStation Two is a powerful machine. You were using the Emotion Engine, I think, for that one. Right. That's right. Yeah. I think that's how he did it. Well, Eric actually coded a ton of his uh, effects, if I remember correctly, in assembly language. He did a lot of tricks to make any... You know, oh. he he was pushing the limit as to what we could really do with effects. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, and they got better every game. So this is where we go for that secret place I was talking about. Okay. So we can come back and get the box breaker once we have the... Uh... Oh, I think I designed this particular dynamo setup. You can tell because it's really bad. Keep it up, Mike. Oh, fuck. No, I'm going to miss it. There, oh, oh, Mike. Mike, Mike. That was really sad. Oh, man. Thank you, for choosing Megacorp. you can do it this time. So I, I remember... Uh, Don't try to be a hero. Just make it through. You know, it's really weird because neither one of us had anything to do with this level. And uh, I don't have that. I don't see anything wrong with this level. I, if this was my level, everything would be wrong. But every, I have no complaints about this level. That was a very solid, put together level. Yeah, I had, I had no fun. Complaints with I had fun playing there. it. Yeah. I didn't see any popping mountains or uh, enemies walking into each other and getting stuck. And I also wasn't spinning the camera around trying to make you sick. <laughs> uh, so you know, there's that. Oh, the arenas. Oh, yeah, this is the Space Vegas level. This is a good cutscene. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Megacorp is bringing galactic gladiators into your home for a special Mega View event. Mega View. Yeah, Chainblade. Chainblade, Chainblade oh, was man. you, right? No, this was Max. Max did all the arenas in this game. Yeah. Didn't you make the energy blades? Or no, you just no, used. No, that was later. That. Oh, okay. So that was a. You used him to prototype the Chainblade chain in the next game. For the I plasma wedge. Yeah, you're right. Takes the adrenaline as contestants face off against our four-armed bandit, the Beast. 
Man, that guy's awesome. World. Yeah. Yeah. I love the I love the posing he's doing. Yeah. Like the, <laughs> man, we must sound like just assholes. Like, oh man, this game we made. Such a good game. I can't believe that this is so clever and funny. <laughs> Tony, I'm going to pat you on the back. <laughs> now I'm going to pat myself on the back. I've got the coordinates. Ratchet out. Uh, ratchet out, huh? Okay. You know what? I still haven't bought the, uh... No, you haven't. But you know what I can do right now? Before I give the, the game back to you? You know what? I, I don't think you can afford the, uh... Yeah, the, oh. the Blitz gun. That's what it is. It's a good gun, the Blitz but gun. But the, the chopper, I think, will help us earn bolts a lot yeah, more quickly. Yeah, I'm sure so. we'll be fine with the chopper. It's a good weapon. No, the chopper was amazing. Like, you remember, like, uh... uh yeah, bouncing it's a good all weapon. over the place it's a and stuff. Yeah. And then when you upgrade it, it splits into multiple stars and does homing and stuff. All right. Anyway, um, I guess that's the end of see. level one. Real, just uh, I want to see the interface here because I, I might have had something to do. No, no. Okay, so this was this is kind of. Uh, a little bit interesting to me. Okay. Uh, we'll cut it out if it if it turns out to no, be bullshit. No, I'm sure it'll be interesting to everybody. But the uh, uh, the galactic map in this game, we we had a really hard time getting people to know what level they were supposed to go to. Right. And uh, we uh, in in Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal, we actually sort of advanced this one step further. You know, like we put the the one you were supposed to go to already highlighted and stuff like this. But in this level, in in or rather in this game. We didn't do that, and we had a lot of problems with people getting lost. So it's it's funny that just such a small interface like this can have such a big effect on whether or not people can even get through the game. Yeah. So where do you want to go, Tony? You're gonna you're gonna be playing. Uh, well, I see. We can got only go. Well, the Maktar Resort. I've got uh, I've got stuff in here. So all right, then I guess this is you. Then if you're playing the Mac, if if you got stuff, you play it. And all right. You... So I'll play I'll play my part, and then I'll give you. Uh... Uh, I don't have anything to do with Maktar Resort. Uh, I know Peter coded that level. Uh, right. And Max coded the arenas, so it's got nothing to do with me. But, uh, uh, you know, I still figure we should watch you... Play and be awesome? Yeah. Yeah, play and be I awesome. am pretty good at this game. So tell you what, I will do my segment, and then you do the other segment. And Excellent. then we can switch off for arena fights. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, Clank's girlfriend. Yes, may I help you? <laughs> said 